Hi guys, it's me Samantha from CosmeticCandiesFYI.com and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a get ready with me video. Normally I don't talk through my get ready with me videos or do intros. I haven't done an intro in so long. But this one I wanted to do more of a talk through tutorial type deal for you guys because I do a lot of voiceovers and I don't really talk to you guys a lot when I do tutorials anymore. So I wanted to kind of break the habit and do something that I haven't done in a while. So hopefully you guys like this talk through tutorial. And this is the look that we're going to be doing today. And this look incorporates the Coastal Scents Revealed palette which looks like this. It has a lot of cool toned colors to it. And that is what I use on my eyes today. I really do like the palette. I think the color selections are really nice. It's a very cool, cool palette. A lot like the Naked 1 and Naked 2 from Urban Decay, which I was not a big fan of. Don't kill me. A lot of people love those palettes, and I just really didn't care for them. I had the Naked 2 when I actually gave it away because I'm not a fan of cool toned colors. But I think they're growing on me. I like the way that this look came out. Not what I expected but still really pretty in my opinion the eyes were a little bit more heavier than I was trying to go for so I was a little uh, put off by the eye but I made it work and I toned down the rest of my makeup did very very minimal on the skin very soft very glowy and as well as a pretty nude basic lip so if you guys are interested in seeing how to get this look then keep watching Okay guys, as always, I start out with my eyebrows and here they are. They're not as light as I would usually like them to be, but they will have to do for now because I am kind of in a rush. Gotta get to work. If you want to see my updated brow routine, then I will leave the link down below so that you guys can check that out. Next I'm going to prime my lids. I either use a clear eye primer or a paint pot. Right now I've been obsessed with Lay and Low paint pot from MAC. It's such a beautiful color. I like it better than Soft Ochre or Painterly because it's almost like a caramel color. Soft Ochre is really light and yellow and Painterly is really light and pink and this is almost like I said like a caramel shade and you can even use this by itself if you wanted to. Next I'm gonna go right into the eyeshadow look. Today I will be using the Coastal Sense Revealed palette, the original. I already have a tutorial up using the Revealed 2 palette. I will leave a link down to that if you want to see how the colors play out when you use them. From that palette I want to do another tutorial using the Revealed palette, the Revealed 2, because that one was kind of dramatic so I want to do a more subtle wearable look but today all the shadows are going to be coming from the original revealed palette this is very similar to the naked one and two palette from urban decay much more affordable and today's actually going to be my first time using this palette so let's see how i like it the first shade that i'm going to take is this warm neutral brown right here and that is going right into my crease with a 224 these eyeshadows are pretty uh, pigmented but powdery There aren't really a lot of matte shades in the original palette as there are in the second palette and I really do want to warm up my crease a little bit. So I'm going to go in with Coastal Senses Kokomo Cafe eyeshadow which is right here. It is so similar to Cork which is over here so if you own Cork use that. If you want something similar to Cork without the price point then Kokomo Cafe is a awesome alternative. And I'm just going to go into my crease again with that.
Then I'm going back into the reveal palette. I'm going to be taking this black right here very lightly, like super lightly into my outer V. And then once I have it on there, I'm just going to go ahead and use that same brush I used in the crease and buff it out because I want depth but I don't want like a harsh black in the outer V. I really want soft washes of neutral colors like that's perfect for me. I usually do not use a highlight underneath my brow bone. I just take my brush that I use to blend out my concealer and then go back in with that and blend because I don't really like to put eyeshadow underneath my brow bone. But for the sake of using this palette, I'm going to go in with the lightest color here. If you guys can see, it's like a light cream shade. And I'm using that on a fluffy brush just so that I don't get too much color. And I'm just going to use it as my highlight just to blend any harsh edges. For the lids, there are so many great choices in this palette. I really don't know which one to choose. Like there's a really pretty kind of golden color. Then there's a pewter color. There's so many pretty colors to choose from here. I don't know what to do. I think I'm going to go with this one right here which is the third color on the top row If you guys watch my channel regularly, I rarely use cool colors in my look, so this is interesting for me. Like, I don't use cool toned eyeshadows at all. Like, even with my jewelry, I don't wear silver. Like, I just started wearing silver, and then I will choose like a gunmetal or a mixed metal over silver because I just don't think cool colors look the best on my skin tone but speaking of mixed metals I'm gonna take the only color in this palette that looks to be pretty warm and it's that gold shade right here I don't know if you can see that I'm gonna take that and pop that into my inner corner I'm gonna take benefits eye bright into my waterline I have small eyes as it is so I'm not a fan of like really closed off smoky eyes unless on myself unless it's like super dramatic and then I'm gonna take this darker kind of gunmetal gray color here and mix it with the black on to my lower lash line. And I'm only doing the outer half. Now that I have that on, I'm going to pop on some false lashes. I'm using the Amazing Shines number 747Ls, which are absolutely gorgeous. And I have the lashes on. Here's what they look like. Pretty natural, just really nice and long and wispy. So now I'm going to go in with foundation. I'm using MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NC42. And I like using this foundation because it is the quickest way to get full coverage without having to work as hard. So I just kind of shellac a layer onto my skin. I know shellac is a very ugly word because it makes it sound like I just put a whole thick layer on, but I don't. I use about a pump 
to a pump and a half. I think anything more than a pump and a half of this foundation is way too much. The eyes, now that I am having foundation on, are looking pretty good, but kind of dramatic. More dramatic than what I was going for. So I'm definitely going to subdue the rest of my look, like keep the rest of my look really, really simple because I was not trying to go for such a heavy eye, but I still like it. But everything else is gonna be very, very neutral. Like I'm not contouring at all, just a little bronzer and blush. So I'm going in now with LA Girls Pro Concealer in Pure Beige. If you are a MAC hoarder, someone who lives and breathes MAC, then this is very close to MAC's Pro Concealer, uh, Pro Longwear Concealer in NC42. And the face routine that you see me doing right now is what I do pretty much all the time for a full face. I no longer highlight and do all of that extra stuff because I don't think it's necessary for me. I think it makes me look entirely too made up. And like doing that super light highlight and contour for me, like to wear out into the real world <laughs> is just way too much. So this is what I do. I'm going to set everything with my face powder. I'm trying something new. This is Max Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium Golden. I normally use my Sephora Mattifying Face Powder. And there's the color difference there. That is an actual foundation. So that's like putting two foundations on. And my face was starting to look a little cakey. And I'm using my Sephora Airbrush number 55 brush. And this brush is actually still kind of wet. I washed my brushes last night, so hopefully it doesn't give me a patchy result. Next, I'm going in with my all-time favorite bronzer, Give Me Sun from MAC. And this is the old packaging. That new packaging of my MSF Natural my face powder, that's what the packaging looks like now. But I still have this old packaging, and I am going to use it up. I love bronzer. Look at that. Look at the instant like dimension it gave my face. And like I said, no heavy contour. So I'm just using the bronzer to give my face some color. For my cheeks, I'm going to be using this blush from Coastal Scents, the Forever Brush, the Forever Brush, the Forever Blush in the shade Fresh, which is a really pretty peach color. It's a lot like Copper Tone from MAC. So if you like Copper Tone, you'll really like this color. And I just want to give my face a flush of color. You see, it's just like a really pretty, soft, bronzy pink, I'm gonna say. And these blushes go on really nice, too. I bought these, I think, Black Friday of last year. Wow, it's gonna be almost a year since I've had these, and I have not used them as often as I should have, because they are absolutely amazing. That's how you know you have too much makeup in your kit when you love something but you haven't used it because you have other things that distract you. Because I really do. Every time I use this blush, these blushes, I'm like, why don't I use these all the time? I'm going to be using the Essence I Love Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara. And Laura Vitale said she really, really liked this. And I love the Essence Get Big Mascara. But I decided to try this out because Laura Vitale said it was really good. And it is amazing. I was going to leave my face pretty matte, but I wanted to give it a glow. So I'm going to use the Madison Street Beauty Sheer Glow 
highlighter. because I feel like my face was looking just a little flat and what I love about this highlighter is that it's not overpowering then to finish off the look we're going to do the lips and I'm lining my lips with NYX's no actually Nika K's lip liner in nude And then I'm going to go in with Max Lipstick in Flesh Pot, which is a pro color, but they actually released it to Max stores. My favorite from the pro colors um, that they released into regular Max stores are Sin and Peach Stock. Peach Stock is like the perfect nude for me. Sorry if you guys hear like the sirens. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but my window's open because it's hot. You have to be really careful with colors like peach stock. I mean, not peach stock, like flesh pot. Because you see how light it's coming up. Then I'm going to top it off with some gloss. You can definitely leave it matte like this. But I want to add a little bit more warmth and glossiness to it. So I'm going to be using Max Pro Longwear Gloss in Boundlessly Beige. Excuse my horrible nails. The Prolonger glosses smell so good, but they are so sticky. And here you have it guys, this is the final look. Once I did my hair and everything, I think the eyes kind of toned themselves down. But I love the overall soft, very neutral look. I think that cool colors are growing on me. Um, I don't know, I still have to get used to it. It's a little bit dramatic for my taste, but it still is very soft and wearable. And let me get a close-up so you guys can see skin and everything. And that's pretty much the look. I hope you guys enjoyed getting ready with me. Please thumbs up this video if you like more talk to tutorials like this. I will try to do more of them if you guys really like them. I'll try to kind of even it out as opposed to doing a lot of voiceovers. So if you do like this video, this type of talk through, then hit the thumbs up button and I'll try to get more of those out for you guys. The list of everything used will be down below as well as on my blog where you will find more pictures of this look and more information about everything that I used. Until my next video, I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Next up is my pinks palette. So all of my kind of pinks, uh, kind of rosy colors are 